Hi, it's Katrina with Sacktown 5. I'm here with Amy Jenkins cannabis lobbyists in California, and we're talking about cultivation today. There have been some potential new bills and discussions around that. Can you share a little bit about it with us? Yeah, sure. So um, a couple weeks ago, uh, an issue was brought to my attention that there may be too many applications mm. um, into the California Department of Food and Agriculture, which processes cultivation applications, too many in before um, an operator's temporary license expires. So right now there's about 7,000 uh, temporary licenses, which, wow. which is basically what um, operators use to stay compliant in the system. But those temporary licenses are set to expire. So the concern is, does the state have the sufficient capacity to process all the annual applications right. before the temps expire? And we're talking about thousands and thousands. So it's a an, new and emerging issue. There's been a lot of conversation in the Capitol about ensuring the state um, entity that actually the California Department of Food and Ag has the resources it needs. So we could in fact see legislation on this matter. Um, but I think the key is ensuring these people stay in the system. So right. if their temporary is going to expire, before their annual is issued, we need to make sure that we prevent that from yeah. happening. Yeah, well, that could potentially impact a lot of folks if it's not handled correctly, okay. and um, we'll keep a close eye on that. Yes. You heard it from Amy. We'll continue to have this dialogue as things evolve. Stay tuned, and thanks for the ads and follows.